back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new i love to romanticize the seasons in general not only does it help me embrace every season and every month but it also just makes life more fun and it is now summer which in my opinion is one of the easiest seasons to romanticize because it's my favorite season the vibes are good we're outside we're in the sun but i still really want to do a little romanticizing summer video because i know that a lot of people actually don't like summer i think because of where i live we have a pretty temperate climate it doesn't get super super hot in the summer and it's pretty cold throughout the winter so whenever summer rolls around i feel like everybody around my area where we live is like yes summer because we don't really get to do those fun outdoorsy things except when it's warm that's why i love summer so much but i can understand why somebody living in like even like arizona where it gets really really hot in the summer might not love it so much but either way i am going to be romanticizing the summer season today and living like my summer pinterest boards living out my pinterest girl summer honestly the these are so fun to do. It's so fun to like literally recreate your Pinterest boards. The first thing that I'm thinking of doing while the weather is still nice, because I think it might be raining later, is set up a little area outside and do some little arts and crafts. I am thinking of painting today. I have quite a few pictures on my Pinterest board that kind of embrace that and also like reading outside. So I'll definitely bring a book out there too. I also want to throw on a cute little summery outfit while I'm doing this. So I'm thinking of wearing this top, which is really pretty. I feel like it's really summery. It's kind of flowy and lacy. It's from Cider. A pair of jean shorts i just got these ones they're levi 501 jean shorts but i love them i'm gonna throw this on and get my stuff ready to go outside <music> because I feel like I can get really perfectionistic with it and it'll end up taking me hours where I just want this to be maybe like a one hour thing. So I'm thinking of making a small square painting in my watercolor book. If I want it to be a perfect square, I'll usually like tape a square and then paint so that when I finish and it dries, I can just peel the paint off and it's perfect. I just got a new book yesterday, Beach Read. I wanted this to be my last summer read of the year. So I hope this is good. I mean, this is a pretty popular book. I've been hearing about it for quite a while. So I was like, you know what? Let's read it this summer. Got water, paint brushes, this little plastic paint palette, some paints. Let's get started. And I think it's actually been nearly an hour, like 40 minutes, but the sky's completely gray now. And I keep hearing thunder. It hasn't started raining yet, but I'm thinking I'm gonna need to head inside. I could spend more time on this kind of perfecting it. Like it's not perfect, certainly, but pretty much done. I think when I take off the tape, it'll be pretty cute. I could spend more time on it, but it started thundering and I was like, oh my God. So I was just like trying to finish it up as quick as I could. So here's what we have right now. So nice. I do feel very hot though. My hair is just sticking to my back so that's really nice highly recommend doing this like this was so much fun oh my god it's raining Been 
downpouring for an hour, but I just looked outside and it's sunny. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last, but like my whole backyard is flooded. Even my sunroom has water in the ground. The gutters are overflowing and there's standing water right here. Like, can you see that? <laughs> but I came back outside to enjoy whatever sun I can get before it goes away again because it's supposed to rain for like the next two days. But I saw this picture on my Pinterest of a girl with flower in her hair and I have really beautiful like hibiscus flowers blooming right now. We have a whole bush full of them. I feel like picking one will be okay because they're just gonna die anyways. I mean, it would be nice to like enjoy the flowers. So I'm gonna go try to take a picture with one because I think that might be cute. Flower beds are flooded as well, but these flowers look kind of sad after being like pelted by the rain for an hour, <laughs> but they're so beautiful. bathing suit on maybe I'll go in the pool maybe if it starts raining I'll just start frolicking around in the rain because this is fun <laughs> Because it was so hot and humid from the rain, I couldn't lay outside for long before feeling like I really just needed to go in the pool. So I took a dip and literally just bumped a volleyball around, waded in the water, and listened to some fun summer music before hopping out and doing some more reading. especially in the summer is make jewelry like make little beaded jewelry i feel like i'm really gonna focus on anklets maybe bracelets as well just so much fun and it's really simple so we're gonna do some jewelry making here we'll just need some little elastic string whichever kind of beads you like we have lots i have like five more cases of these in there but i'm just gonna look through and try to find some pretty combinations i have so many pictures on my pinterest of like really really cute ones and cute things you can try Let's start i like double knotting the end of these strings so that the beads don't just fall right through and you can start. one picture on my Pinterest that was really what I was going off of on this day but I didn't have all of the exact same beads as they used so I worked with what I had but if I'd been able to go to the store and very intentionally buy all of the beads in the pictures I think that would have worked out a little bit better but I really love green pink and pearls those are like my favorite things ever so I really wanted to make some anklets with those beads and I made a second one to go with it but as I mentioned I didn't have the exact same beads that they used so I worked with what I had but it was so much fun and I think they turned out really cute so relaxing like every time I make jewelry I'm reminded of I love it so much not only is it fun and you get like cute jewelry out of it but it's kind of just like a therapeutic task like coloring or like sewing or something but they're the two that I made I wish the pearls on this one were a little bit smaller but these were the ones that I had I don't really like wearing gold I wear all silver jewelry as you can tell but this is going on my ankle and I didn't have little silver beads I had little gold beads and I think the gold ones look cute so I don't know I don't think it really matters they're so pretty though it's a bit later now but I'm thinking that I want to paint my nails because because I don't have any nail polish on right now and I pretty much always do. I love playing around with fun colors in the summer because you know for the rest of the year maybe I'm not necessarily as inclined to do a super bright color but in the summer it's the perfect time. I did just buy a new nail polish. I don't know if that's the one I want to use. It's like a pretty baby yellow color. Let's see if I have any cute nail inspo. I don't want to do something super complicated. I'm going to check out my nails board and see what we're working with but like I said I don't want to do something 
like this i obviously can't i mean i could probably do it but that would take me a long time and i don't have the patience for that right now i already did like crafts today i have the same picture pinned twice but honestly that's kind of like the nail color i just had on i'm definitely loving the shimmers like mermaidy kind of nails that's something i love in general it's not necessarily super summery i'm gonna just look up summer nails and we'll see if anything cute comes up yellow and pink like that's really cute but i, I don't know if i have the patience for that these nails are too complicated like can we get something similar okay there's kind of the shade of yellow that i just bought honestly i feel like i might just go with that because it's a new color i want to try it out i can pop a little chrome on top that is like a summer color i've been loving wearing that color recently too like i've been wearing tops that are that color and they're like the baby butter yellow color they're so pretty i really like it it's not like a super warm yellow which i like and i just feel like it's perfect so we're gonna do that here is the color it's the sally hansen extreme wear and this is the shade eternal sunshine because i have only one other yellow nail polish and it was also a sally hansen but it was the color mellow yellow can you see the difference between these and this one i actually poured white into the bottle to make it lighter this one's like mustardy yellow this is the yellow that i was wanting and then i have two shimmer coats that every time i put them on top of basically any color they look like chrome nails like as close to chrome nails that you can get this is the pop arazzi one this is the shade glass ceiling this is the shade happy anniversary from opi this like i said pop it on top of any color and you just have like the prettiest nails ever so i might throw this on top to go to the grocery store with my mom i decided that i really want to make a smoothie bowl tomorrow morning maybe an acai bowl or maybe just a regular smoothie bowl i mean it's such a quintessentially summer thing and i actually used to eat smoothies all the time like almost on a daily basis like for breakfast but i've been so obsessed with yogurt bowls like if you've been watching my videos for a while and you've just started to notice that in every vlog where i'm showing my breakfast and every morning routine i'm eating the same breakfast and you're like sophie why are you constantly just eating yogurt bowls every single day i can't stop i literally can't stop it is so good and i'm so obsessed with it it's been literally a year now because i started eating this exact yogurt bowl last august it's been a whole year of me eating this yogurt bowl and i can't stop i daydream about it i literally tell my mom i'm like oh my god i can't wait to wake up tomorrow and eat my breakfast that's all to say that i haven't been eating as many smoothie bowls for breakfast lately because i've been eating so many yogurt bowls but I do love making smoothies it's weird though i never make smoothies just like in a cup to drink like i've always just made really thick smoothie bowls because i find it so much more enjoyable like if there's gonna be like a cup of something i'm drinking i'm just gonna drink like a juice or something you know like i'm just gonna make a green juice i'm not gonna like i don't know i just don't really like thin smoothies so i'm gonna go get stuff for that i also need to pick up a few other things but we're gonna do a little grocery shop it's a really like cloudy day now it's super rainy but i'm pretty sure tomorrow is supposed to be sunny so i would love to have like a little morning where i make a smoothie bowl i go outside it's my favorite thing to do in the morning it's such a simple way to just like embrace the summer so we are going to that right now even though it was like so 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 hot but as soon as it rains now freezing cold and not freezing cold but like it dropped like 10 degrees so it's like 60 degrees right now so i am wearing a sweatshirt and i did put on leggings for the first time in like months i feel like i haven't worn leggings in so long because it's been warm but next day and today i want to recreate a few things this morning i want to make a smoothie bowl for sure like i said yesterday and i also want to have a pool day because it's a beautiful sunny day and it's been raining for the last two days i was thinking maybe drawing with chalk i have a few pictures on my pinterest board that i'm going to kind of recreate where girls are basically wearing braids with hats and bikinis with like something over top so i'm wearing a brown bikini right now i'm gonna put my hair in braids and grab a hat because i do have one hat and i was thinking of like throwing this linen white shirt over top
found some very summery perfume, Brazilian Crush, because this does smell like summer to me. I'm gonna put on my pearl necklace. Pearls are beachy. I feel like I'm going golfing. <laughs> quite windy so I hope you can't hear it I am about to draw with some chalk I have these really like bright colored chalk but they're really pretty colors I'm gonna draw on my deck because our patio has a lot of little bricks it's not super easy to like write on them get to work because I have quite a few things to do today but I really hope you enjoyed I hope this maybe gave you some ideas for fun things that you can do this summer or ways that you can romanticize summer because there are so many things to love about summer also keep the new couch I literally got this last night it's gonna be my podcast couch hoping to launch my new podcast very soon I'm so excited about it so stay tuned for that thank you so much for watching comment this emoji if you watched all the way up until the end and if you did thank you so so much really appreciate you I will see you in my next video bye guys Thank you.